is your CBSLA.com News Brief. Hello and welcome to your CBSLA.com News Brief. I'm Pat Harvey. A happy ending for a senior couple who had been missing since Monday. The Loras walked away from their home at Hancock Park and became lost. They were found by Good Samaritans in Long Beach and are now recovering. The L.A. City Council has approved a $185,000 settlement of taxpayer money to the driver involved in a fender bender with Councilman Jose Huizar. Huizar was driving a city-owned SUV when he rear-ended a vehicle in 2012. Researchers at UC Irvine warn teeing off with titanium-coated clubs could spark a brush fire. They discovered when these clubs strike a hard surface, they release sparks that can heat up to 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And the nonprofit International Bird Rescue is looking for interns for its San Pedro facility. Participants will work with experts to rescue sick birds along the coast. The internship pays a $1,000 stipend. For the latest on these stories and your news any time of day, stay with CBSLA.com. Now here's Jackie Johnson with a check of our weather. Jackie. Thank you very much, Pat. Well, the first day of spring is going to bring some cloudier and cooler weather. In fact, that will continue throughout the rest of the week into the weekend. And we even have a chance for drizzle by Saturday where temperatures will be down into the 60s. A warm up by next work week. Now here's Bobby with sports. All right, Jackie, the UCLA basketball team left for San Diego today with their sights set on a second round matchup against Tulsa. Before they departed, coach Steve Alford talked about his team's preparation. I think everybody's fired up, but I haven't seen any kind of, you know, anxiousness or anything along that. The team seems very calm. I know they're still uh, a ways away yet from playing, but uh, I really like their energy the last two days. They will play on Friday. Don't miss March Madness on CBS 2. And remember, you can always find the latest scores on CBSLA.com. Pat, back to you. All right, thank you, Bobby. And that's your CBSLA.com news brief. Remember, we're always on. Just click Listen Live on our webpage to hear KNX News Radio and our other stations live anywhere you are.